whether it is a tanning bed, radiation, genetics, medical conditions, or geographical influences, skin cancer is one of the most common cancers in the world. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States, and its rate has been increasing. The most common form of skin cancer affecting more than 750,000 Americans each year, one of out of every three cancers is a skin cancer, and 83.5% are basal cell carcinomas. Basal cell carcinoma is one of the most common cancers, but is not inheritable. However, basal cell carcinoma syndrome is an autosomal dominant trait. The chromosome that causes basal cell carcinoma syndrome to occur is the ninth chromosome. When someone has basal cell carcinoma syndrome, they are missing part of the chromosome that contains the PTCH1 gene. PTCH1 is a tumor suppressor gene that prevents cells from rapidly dividing and growing. PTCH1 also has instructions to produce the protein PATCH1, which functions as a receptor. Receptor proteins have specific sites into which other proteins called ligands match together. The ligand for PATCH1 is sonic hedgehog. So when PTCH1 is not present, either is the PATCH1 protein. So then there is no protein to match up with sonic hedgehog, causing delays in development, overgrowth of the body, and other physical abnormalities, and are major signs for basal cell carcinoma syndrome. Some parts of the body that are affected by basal cell carcinoma are the skin and part of the chromosome 9. Anyone can get skin cancer and the environment can greatly affect the chance of a person getting a basal cell carcinoma. Factors like UV exposure, geographical factors, and other types of radiation are some of the main causes for basal cell carcinomas. The first being UV exposure. Chronic exposure to ultraviolet radiation in combination with genetic predisposition is the single most important factor contributing to skin cancer. The mass of evidence demonstrating a link between skin cancer and UV exposure is highly compelling. UV radiation is to believe to cause skin cancer by damaging genetic, informa damaging genetic information within skin cells and by including an oxidative damage. While the main cause of skin cancer Cancer comes from the solar radiation. UV radiation can be also encountered in artificial sources, including tanning beds and sun lamps. The use of such tanning facilities is increased in adolescents, particular females, who endeavor to achieve a quote-unquote healthy-looking tan. The second main factor is geographical factors. The rates of skin cancer in Australia in particular are higher than anywhere else in the world, at nearly four times the incidence in America, Canada, and the United Kingdom combined. It has been suggested that the large portion of skin cancers in Australia is due to the combination of latitude and a population composed of a large number of people with susceptible skin types. Other theories that are evaluated incidents may be due to damage to the ozone layer in an atmosphere above this area, or the Australian lifestyle involves more outdoor activities. Within Australia, the rate of skin cancer varies with latitude, with higher rates in the north. Queensland having the highest number of cases nationally, rates of all types of cancer, skin cancer are also lowered for Australians who were born outside the country. Presumably, this is a result of either more resilient skin types or a reduced UV exposure as a child. The third factor is other types of radiation. Large doses of ionizing radiation have the potential to cause non-melanoma skin cancers such as BCC. The danger became apparent following the discovery of radioactivity as scientists unaware of the need for protective clothing and limited exposure develop skin cancers. Similarly, skin cancer is one of the most common types of types of cancer found in survivors of the 1945 atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Most at the risk are of individuals who are exposed to radiation for long periods of time or in high doses such as uranium miners and radiologists. Localized use in radiotherapy and protective measures such as lead aprons for x-ray patients help to minimize the risk of a carcinogen for patients when used remedially. After collecting data from various sites about how nature can affect the body, we conclude that basal cell carcinoma cannot be affected by nature in any way, but basal cell carcinoma syndrome, which increases your risk of getting basal cell carcinoma, can. 
the genetics that influence whether an individual gets basal cell carcinoma syndrome is in the ninth chromosome. When part of this chromosome is deleted, it doesn't allow the body to produce the patch 1 protein because the PTCH1 gene was not created and this causes an individual's cells to rapidly grow and divide. On the other hand, the nurture argument is just as, if not, stronger than the nature side. There are various influences from the environment that cause basal cell carcinomas. These influences include UV radiation, geographical factors, lifestyle, culture, smoking, pollution, and even alcohol consumption. This far outweighs the nature side of the argument because it almost covers every type of person. Whether you tan using a tanning bed, play outside, drink alcohol, take medication, and even just breathing air can aid in causing skin cancer. Rather than just having an increased risk due to traits like skin color or eye color, the environment can affect any type of person rather than a select few. As stated in cancer as a preventable disease that requires major lifestyle change, it says that about 5-10% to 10 of all cancers can be traced back to genetic defects, whereas the remaining 90-95% to 95 have their roots in the environment and lifestyle. As shown from the previous research, skin cancer is more influenced by nurture than nature. Again, to recap, nurture far outweighs nature when it comes to skin cancer and basal cell carcinoma specifically. On the right, you can see the nature side with only two true pieces of evidence, which are the genes like hair color, eye color, and skin color, along with the rare medical conditions. However, while on the left, we see eight solid pieces of evidence in affecting skin cancer. Overall, nurture far outweighs nature.